afternoon guys, I'm uh, currently back in Spain, you probably noticed. I'll stick on the video of my travel back. Got a bit of <laughs> sneezes at the minute, I think the pollen count's quite high. I've got to admit, it's good to be back in Spain. Um, getting some vitamin D instead of the... Well, UK weather hasn't been that bad actually, but it certainly hasn't been as uh, sunny and cloud free as we get along the coast here. Um, but I thought I'd do a little bit of an update, I haven't done one for a while. Uh, first thing is we've pretty much sorted out a new property that we're going to be buying. Um, which can't see it, but it's literally about third line in from the beach. Um, don't really want beachfront because you get all the sand in it when it's windy. So go a couple back, it's perfect you know, for us. Uh, so we're just sort of going through the negotiation period at the minute, trying to get the price down. There is some renovation work to get done, and I'll do some videos on that on the Spanish channel. Um, but looking forward to getting that locked in and done um, within the next couple of months. Um, one of the things that is a good selling point, at the, uh, buying point at the moment, is people are uncertain with the COVID stuff. So I've seen prices drop by about 40% on some properties. Yeah, to be fair, they were overpriced to start with. These properties, there's a little bit of leeway, but it's not going to be massive um, because they haven't kept up with the, the housing market value because they're concrete over steel by design, um, which often isn't very popular, especially when you've got a lot of newer houses in the area um, of a similar value. It's just I've managed to knock the price right down there. Um, we're going to be purchasing one there. Um, I was talking to uh, a friend of ours yesterday because they bought a two bed, um, a nice large two bed for probably about 30,000 more than I'm paying, going to be paying for the three bedroom, um, which is third row from the beach, 15 meters from the beach. Um, but like I said, I'm looking forward to that because um, I can do some updates on it. Um, that'll be our first house in Spain which uh, hopefully will close the deal before the winter or you know moved in but wise um, so I'll do I'll do uh, a couple of videos on me getting back to Spain they'll follow on from this one um, if you've been on the Alicante channel it's going to be pretty much the same videos but I've got to admit um, with all the Covid stuff a lot of people are a bit paranoid about traveling but to be fair I find that the benefits of the uh, the sun and getting away from work and whatever outweigh the risks. Um, I know a lot of the tour operators are down at the minute, but you know, uh, volume wise, but um, I do think it's a bit over egged um, as a risk. But we seem to be in this constant um, paranoia as a, as a world. It's always on the downside, it's not on the positive side, you know, there's no, it's not driven by positive news. I mean, it's like the environmentalists going, oh, we, we'll get rid of all the planes, all this sort of stuff. It's like, what are you talking about? Unless you've got a solution, you only create a problem. So if you're going to replace the planes, what are you replacing them with? Because to be fair, I don't want to be in the UK. This is where I live. This is where I, I like to be. And I work in the UK and commute. So that's not going to change. Don't want it to change. But it's a bit like a utopian society. There is no such thing because one utopia to one person is a nightmare to someone else. Um, so my personal view is things will slowly go back to normality in some form. Um, but I'm just enjoying what we have at the minute great to be back on the, the roof terrace, it's great to be back in Spain, um, it's been over four months, um, I didn't really realise how long I'd been away until recently because I'd switched off from it, because of the negative press where you're constantly getting told lockdown is, da, da, da. There's not, it's not a positive progression because even when people are saying right we're going to open the restaurants or open shops, the media is going well that could make it worse not it's not a positive step um, 
but some normality needs to occur because although they're all paranoid about the COVID situation, people's well-being gets affected, the economy crashes, and all the other stuff that goes with it. It's not a singular thing. It, it, you know, it, it's a complex beast in that sense. It's not just one output. You know, COVID is one issue, but there is multiple things that get affected if we just focus on that point alone. Uh, my personal view is people need to recharge the batteries, people need to travel. The, the fact that you can get on the Euro tunnel, even if you're a bit worried about being on a plane, for example, you can go in the confine of your own vehicle and travel. Um, a lot of this stuff, the word that doesn't get used enough is use common sense, you know. Um, I had somebody mention to me about the park, I didn't go at the park where I was, there's about 2,000 people in the park. Well, that's common sense. Getting onto the flight, I had to come home. So that choice is sort of removed at that point because the logistics of it, I mean, I could drive to Spain, but to be fair, it will take me about a day to day and a half to get here. Then I've got the hassle of the car being in the wrong country and I'm going to drive all the way back at the end. So I'll lose three days on my trip. Um, it just didn't make any sense from that perspective. So from this perspective, it's about enjoying life, just taking a bit of uh, risk reduction for yourself if you're worried about it, uh, but ultimately should be aiming to try and normalize your life where possible. Um, yeah, that's, that has to be one of my biggest thorns on the side is the negative press constantly pushing everything down it's never anything about the positive positive side it's always about the doom and gloom it's not about things that have reopened have reoccurred um, people returning to work you know I haven't seen any figures where somebody said 25% of the economy has returned to work these sort of things you know the stuff that's actually saying the world is moving the world's turning the world's going back to some normality it's always on the, oh, what if this happened? What, what, where's the next outbreak? Where is it? We're looking for it. No, try and avoid that crap. If it happens, it happens. I mean, there's a bit of normality for you. Banquet. Biggest banquet? Yeah. Don't know which restaurant it is. But but the point is, a bit of normality here. It's been great taking my son fishing and just enjoying the Spanish life that we have. And all it does is reinforce the fact I need to make this full time and focus on getting to that point. Um, but yeah, I love it here. And if you need to do something, do it. And this is what I found really weird with the government. It's like, well, if you don't need to do it, don't do it. And all this sort of. But. My personal view is, just do it, just use common sense. The rest of it will just follow. Um, I know a lot of people get worried about this and that, but if we went through life like that, you wouldn't even drive a car. I mean, you, you start looking at statistics for car accidents and things like that, it would put you off driving a car if you went the way the, the COVID stuff sort of pushed. Because it was every car is dangerous, but even as a pedestrian crossing the street, there's a risk there. There's a risk. To, there's a risk to everything. The number of accidents that happen in the home. It's the worst place to be. Don't be in your own home. It's absolute nonsense. But anyway, I'll send some positivity. or follow on with the videos from the last few days. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I'm at the train station now. Uh, so I'm just going to get just bored. <laughs> get bored. Bored the train. Around Northampton, you'll find these shoes everywhere. They did tell people, I think it was uh, probably about four or five months ago, they were talking about removing them because people kept vandalizing them. Um, let's see, how we go. So, so, waiting for the train. I'm always a bit puzzled with the trains because, like this one, it says where it's coming from, but it doesn't confirm the station I'm going to in the sense of I could do with the list of the stations, but because <laughs> the the station, you know, because they give a final destination, but not which stations they stop at. So, got 20 minutes. So, enjoying the sun, 
letting the sweat dry off for a bit after walking two miles with my uh, my backpack, which is pretty bloody heavy to be fair. But today it's full of books for the kids. Got everything's books and a laptop. Everything. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing in it for me. Uh, taking me a uh, work laptop this time, uh, just to make sure things run smoothly. But ready to go. Here's my train. I'll leave very quiet the airport. Just got out of the train station. Nearly everything's closed. Very quiet and eerie. I know, I'll be near at three o'clock in the morning through it. Okay, something to be aware of. The uh, train that goes between the train station and the uh, airport isn't running. We've got a bus. Okay, we got the bus. We are arriving at the airport terminal bus stop. Please ensure that you take all your luggage and belongings with you. The airport's very quiet. A lot of the entrances are blocked off as well, all the way down. Uh, so that's how busy it is indoors. So just waiting for the flight, got another 20 minutes before I get the gate announcement. It's very quiet here uh, in the Birmingham airport. Most of the shops are shut. Um, also the number of people though. Very a fraction of what you'd normally expect. Um, Especially this time of day, you know, it's only, it's just quarter past five, so I'd expect to be really busy. Um, but obviously, the COVID keeping numbers down, flights down, everything else down. So, um, security took a bit longer than usual. Um, but to be honest, I only had two gates open instead of about ten. Um, obviously, the amount of people that are coming through at the moment is virtually nothing compared to the capacity is normally at but as you can see pretty much everywhere it's closed there's a lot of people sat around uh, and one's really open is next boots and I think maybe one or two restaurants if that very uh, surreal
two one five one thank you down to the Ali Camp. Today's strike time we expect to be around uh, two hours and fifteen. Okay, finally got here, and yeah. Igor is coming to pick us up, so he's here somewhere. <laughs> Just arrived in Spain. Igor! Hi, <laughs> airport. Hey, how are you? Fine, thank you. Hi! <laughs> Yeah. Completely, completely, full, full people, every restaurant, every bar. Yeah, I think people are tired of the um, yes, uh, the COVID stuck at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this, one kebab, okay? Yeah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Honey kebab. Yeah, opposite. <laughs> One more honey kebab. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, twist. What's that? Honey kebab. Look at this. Another? Luna kebab. That's too many. <laughs> we don't. We don't have this many customers. <laughs> yeah. Back to holiday parking. Oh. Cars everywhere. No parking. Open this, look at this. Yeah. The hotel open? open yes, uh, open no good. hotel and uh, restaurant. Restaurant only. Hotel the moment not open. This hotel. Hello, familia! Hello. Está bien, 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 bien. Está bien este un amigo mío desde Inglaterra. Me gusta mucho la mata. Venga. 
new owner that this bar new owner ah because the mother yes, and daughter before yes yeah I'll change owner okay uh, food line is open uh, my okay. car today is broken what <laughs> again the engine <laughs> i think so we're finally back in Mamata. Hello. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Uh, uh. Hi. Hi. In your independence. Ah. <laughs> oh. In La Mata, enjoying tonight's dinner with their family. Got a uh, red sun, a uh, red moon rising. Red sun. Uh, food line's really good food here. Uh, got cordon bleu, some beautiful calamari. What do you got? Over? I got the pizza. What, what type of pizza? Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni. What, what's everyone got at the top then? Um, spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Ah! Uh -huh. 